Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that everyone is doing well. So today we have another collection video, but um, we're gonna tackle jewelry, which if you guys don't know, it's like my favorite subject. I'm very much into like really dainty pieces. I kind of like to layer a lot of pieces together. So it's kind of like my thing. I do make a huge disclaimer. I like gold jewelry. Um, it's kind of just like, I feel what it suits me the best. Nonetheless, a lot of these pieces are also available on silver and I'm gonna try to link everything as I can below. So I think I wanna start first with my earrings. Now, I did a year ago, a current jewelry collection video. If you guys want to see, Basically, like almost like my entire jewelry collection, you can hit that video up. But um, I have some new pieces, and there's some of them that now I don't use. So I feel like this is basically just a revamp of that last video. But this is basically is what I wear on an everyday basis, things that I switch on and off. But I feel like this is everything that right now I just wear. So again, let's start with the earrings. Now, um, I do have two piercings on one ear and then I have three on the other. Um, so basically I'm gonna start just with the first piercing. Now in here, I have this one which I love to use on an everyday. These ones are from Love AJ. They're called the Martina Hoops. Now these ones are the small, um, or I don't know if they're the tiny. I know that Love AJ does them in three sizing. And I love these hoops because they're chunky, Still, they're quite small, so I feel like they just look perfect. They look very everyday, um, and they're kind of like my favorite ones to wear. And they're a little bit heavy, which I love. And I also love the fact of the price point because I'm gonna try to put the price as I also talk about each. And these ones I love because they feel like super expensive, even though that they're not. But these ones, I think they're just like the perfect little pair of hoops. And I love this design because it's very new. Um, and I think it's just really switched off from the thin long ones that we used to wear all the time. Now, the other piercing that I have, um, I believe this, I think this is like a stud. I always buy studs, um, again, keeping it with the minimal. Um, and this one, I think, is from Mijuri. Um, I think it's one of their studs. Um, I buy them all the time, and I'm very easily, and I very easily lose them. Um, so they're just like simple studs that you can get everywhere. Um, and I just really love it because it makes all the ear look super clean then i have like this little tiny one which it almost looks like an opal shape that i got from an independent store like years and years ago i don't even remember um, but it's just a piece that i have like it's really old and i like it because it keeps everything um almost super cohesive on my ear and that one in particular i love it because it's tiny it's hardly seen but then again it's still keeping it with the gold theme and then on the top, I have this ear cuff. Now, this is one of my newest additions. This one is from Catbird. Catbird is one of my favorite jewelry stores. They do the most beautiful jewelry ever. Um, and I love their, I think what favorite, what's favorite for me from them are their rings, but specifically this ear cuff, I have my eye since forever. I finally got it. They also made this in, um, in silver but I love the gold and I love it because it even looks like I have this piercing on but no I just put this ear cuff really tight it in and I haven't taken it out since I got it and it's amazing it doesn't move out um, it's super comfortable I even sleep with this it's amazing and the quality of course is 14 karat gold so that's gonna maintain its shine so I feel like Capra is a great jewelry brand to invest on because her pieces are lifetime now on the other ear, again, I have the same Marchina hoops. And then on top, I also have, I have another um, stud from um, Majori, which they're super comfortable. And that's basically is my earrings. Um, now there's others that I like to switch on and off. One of them is these two little ones. Of course, I'm gonna insert um, clips as I move along. Now these smaller ones are from Misoma. Um, obviously I'm gonna put the name here. Um, I believe um, Misoma is one of my favorite jewelries as well. As you guys know, I buy so much necklaces from them. So I wanted for a while to buy some earrings and these smaller ones look very beautiful. They're very dainty. These ones I like to wear sometimes on my normal piercings or sometimes on the second one so I can put them on both. Um, but they're super pretty and I love like the little diamond shape. I think it just almost looks like literal petals. I think it's super cute. And then another one that I wear all the times are wear as well are these ones from um 
Natalie B. I got this one. I think they're selling Revolve. And this one is like a cute little pearl with a chain underneath. And this one's, I kind of like to wear them more on the back, like on my um, upper piercings, because the chain is so small that when I put them on my first, it's, it's hardly visible. So these ones I think are great to layer if you have different piercings, but they're super comfortable as well. And I love the little pearl because I don't know, I think it just makes them look a little bit more different. Now, when I want to wear like a more um, statement earrings, these ones are my favorite ones. You guys have seen it a few times on my channel. These hoops are from Bubble Bar. Um, they're, I think, like one of the biggest hoops that they do. And they're super chunky and I love them. I like to wear this one probably on days where I'm hardly wearing makeup, where I'm wearing my hair on the back like a ponytail or something like that. Or if I'm not wearing any necklaces, I kind of like these hoops because they are really statement piece. And they're a little bit heavy. I'm going to be completely honest. You do feel them a little bit, but still it's not like so uncomfortable that you cannot wear them on an everyday. Um, but I think they just look amazing. They look super cheek and of course they look incredibly expensive and I got them for such a steal. But these ones are just beautiful hoops um, that can be worn all the time. Okay, so I kind of finished already with my earrings. Now, I think I'm going to go with my braces now. Um, with bracelets, I used to have a lot, but I generally nowadays like to wear just two. Now, these two that I wear constantly, if you guys have seen them a lot on my channel, these two are from Soma. Um, uh, this one is the snake chain. Um, I also have the matching necklace, which I bought separately, um, and I love it. I think what I love about this snake chain is that it looks super clean. Definitely, it looks like really vibrant yellowy gold, um, and I always love the closure. It's so uber chic, and then I kind of like to blend it with this one. Now, this one just is a typical chain um, bracelet that they do. They do make a lot of different ones with different sizings so this one i kind of love and blend with the snake one because they kind of look like a set even though that they're not but misoma does a lot of different ones they also do really chunky ones smaller ones but i kind of like to wear these two and i love to wear them just on one hand um so they kind of look like a set and uh, they also match a lot of my necklaces which i love now let's talk about my rings now with my rings they change all the time i i typically like to wear like really thin ones but now in days i'm kind of loving like the chunkier vibe um so i think i want to start of course with my wedding band this one um obviously it was a gift from my better half this one is from Rainhold, and it's just a really simple thin diamond necklace um necklace ring and i love this one because it's meant to be stackable so maybe if I don't know if one of our anniversaries I kind of like to put another one in is meant to do that and I love it because it's very simple it's very me um, and then this one is one of my recent one this one is from Mejuri this one is one of their crossing rings I believe and I love that because it still looks like a statement ring but I feel like it blends beautifully with everything so it doesn't look like I'm just wearing like a huge massive ring I think it blends amazingly ill i love the gold on this one and i love the shape i think it's very unique and this is a ring that i can even wear just on one hand and that's it like i don't need a lot because i think it just makes already everything super visual but and it's very comfortable so that one i got from maturi and then on this hand i got this really thin one from Cadbury. i have this one now for so many years this one is one of their twisted rings they do very different shapes of them but this one in particular i love it now it does sometimes um lose its shape so i have to hit it with a hammer to put it again back to it but it's very um, comfortable and again catbird rings are meant to be stacked so this is one of them um, and i have this for years and it still looks amazing and then lastly this one is from misoma this is one of their signet rings they do a lot of different ones. You can even have them personally engraved. I pick up one that I already have. And this one, again, is a simple one as the, as the majority one. They're just these statement rings that you can wear just one. And it still looks amazing. So right now, I think I'm happy with what I have on my hands. I always like to shame them. Um, I'm very influenced by Catbird. So I definitely want one day to have like really thin stackable rings all over it. Um, but... I'm happy right now with what I have and I think these ones look super great together. 
Now let's talk about my necklaces. Now with my necklaces is where I feel like I get more creative as I go. Um, so let's talk about, of course, the first piece. Let's talk about the pieces that I have right now on my necklace. So the first one is this one. Now this one is from Misoma. This is one of the Roman necklaces. Now, unfortunately, the real chain broke. And that's something that I want to discuss with you guys. Misoma necklaces, even though that they're my favorite one, they're not the most durable. I think like from the three or four that I have, three of their chains broke. So just to give you guys a heads up, these are necklaces that cost all the way up to $300, $400. So they're not the most durable ones. Nonetheless, they're beautiful. I feel like you have to be a little bit more, a little bit more careful with them. So I keep obviously dependent, but this chain necklace is actually was gifted to me by Liner. So I kind of switched the locket that it came with and I put this one from Misoma because I kind of like like this coin gold style um, necklaces just to layer everything on top of it. Um, and then I have this one on top, which is one of my recent ones. This one I got from a brand called Electric Pick. I picked this up from um, Revolve, Sasha Steel. I think this went back to its original price. I think it's like 119 and I got it for $50, which is insane, but I love it because it still is a really statement piece, but I feel like with the Roman, I feel like with the Mosoma one, it looks perfect. Now, these are another necklaces that I like to wear all the time. Now, this one, you guys have seen a lot. It's also from Misoma. I'm gonna put the name here because I forgot. This came actually on a set I bought. They also make already layered pieces so you can pick them up if you're not super sure of which ones to blend in. And this one, I love it. It has, I think it's almost into that Roman style collection. And this one is super thin and it almost hits me like right about my collarbone, but I love it. Now I like to blend this one out again with another snake one. This one is the snake chain. It's my favorite one that Misoma does. And I typically wear these two together and I love that they almost are the exact same length. And they're super shiny, very beautiful. And I think if you see, if you saw already, um, so in my past video, you might see me wearing these ones all the time. They're like my favorite duo. Now, lastly, this is another one that I love to wear. I am. Um, this one was also a gift. This one is from Anna Lou of London. Um, they gifted this one to me with my name on it, and I felt really, really spoiled. So thank you very much. Um, and it says actually Stephanie in Arabic. This one is the Arabic necklace and I love it because it's very long and I love the fact that because it's heavy It kind of switch up to the side. So it almost looked like this engraved on the side, which I think is very cool But another one that I like to wear and blend in with everything that I got Well guys, so this is my everyday jewelry like always everything is going to be linked below um, And I guess I'll see you guys next week with a video Bye